I certainly am glad there isn't much friction, as I write on this page with my Ticonderoga Dixon. Of course, here I'm speaking of the kind that is kinetic, but without static friction we'd all fall and need a medic. Now let me get some mass times velocity, or rather momentum, as I tell you about some models when physicists invent them. Like momentum, for example, that I just mentioned here, Newton invented calculus to make physics more clear. With momentum, the Earth relies on the kind that is angular, so it can keep its orbit, good thing it isn't rectangular. You see, that would change its moment of inertia, which would change its orbit, and there'd be no more Earth. Uh, with universal laws of gravitation, we have a good foundation. Thank the inverse square law, it's how we live. Now back to angular momentum, torque is the derivative. With respect to time, of course, and it's also the cross product of distance from the pivot and force. At physics, we never sucked. Use the sinusoidal formula to describe simple harmonic motion. Now we're talking waves, like the ones in the ocean. In a pinball machine, the potential energy is elastic, which is why when you play, you can't be too spastic. Square the displacement of the spring, then multiply by the constant. Let's hope your precision isn't too bent. The pinballs will move at a velocity, unless submerged at honey because of the viscosity. If you want their position, be sure to integrate. Integral velocity dt is position, such as fate. Force is proportional to acceleration when you account all your forces in a summation. So that's about it with stuff like torque. Inside a nucleon, you might find a quark. If this is too much, you may just drive off a cliff with gravitational potential. Too bad your car is only a rental.